for the winner will receive a championship opportunity for the new Fight for Flight Championship at Crossroads. The referee for this match, Ref Dave Castello. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final qualifier for the Ace Fight for Flight Championship match at Crossroads 9. This is going to be very interesting to find out who's in this. And the last time we heard this music, I believe it belonged to the Flawless One. Uh, Blake Morris, yes it is. And here comes Mr. Morris. Morris has a wealth of potential, Jamal. He can flat out go inside of that squared circle. He made his debut at Mercury Rising against Azrael in a fantastic contest. He came out on the losing end. But what would it mean for this gentleman to go for fight for flight at Crossroads? This is a huge opportunity for him. That's an understatement. It is a tremendous opportunity. I've heard about the different people involved in this contest. They say it would have been. Hey, I know this guy. I know him too. This man's the one percent of professional wrestling, the best of the best. This kid can go. He's no nonsense. He flat out wrestles. He's about competition, not about the showmanship of the sport. He's probably going to be the most different competitor here in the fight for flight. Absolutely, he is no nonsense. He just wants to wrestle. Is that a Long Island, New York? Oh, yeah. tonight we might be able to find out if he can fly. I can tell you, I've seen Ricky Richards wrestle. He's not really to that win. He's got a shot here? I guess he does. If anybody can fly, it's this Lucha expert, the first ever new professional wrestler in the world. He won the only Hush Holiday. It's great to see him make his return to Ace after what the Middle East Connection did to him. Ah, oh, come on. What a scumbag. What a jackass. What a, what a, what a jackass, dude. This man's, a, funny. this man's a bitter, jaded prick. This gentleman attacked Hush Holiday, cost him a match, that flag match against the Middle East Connection. And ever since then, when Quiet Wire broke up, it's been all Chris Caden, and he's under a new attitude. He's a jaded prick. He's an arrogant individual. Jamal Jackson is walking around ringside. Just look at him. What an obnoxious jackass. You know, in the couple of Fight for Flight challenges we've seen Chris Kane in, his, his, his style of wrestling's been simple. Be intrusive, yet elusive. And it's not worked for him thus far. He needs a new strategy. We're going to find out who's going to take this contest. Who really has a chance? Bell sounds and here we go. A three-way fight for flight qualifier at Crossroads 9. Who will advance? Blake, Blake Moore. What's Blake Morris doing? He's looking very arrogant right now. Pointing at Chris Tate. Wait, wait, wait a minute. We both have nice hair, right? Right? both have nice hair. Are you gonna judge by having nice hair that they should work together? Looks like Morris and Caden might be working together against Richards here. Oh, this is a bad case scenario right here. Here we go. Can Richards survive here? Both been running in. Oh, they catch oh. each other on the right. Ozai takes him down. Back elbow from Richards. This is what Richards does. Simple but effective offense. He's got him up. Scoop and a slap. Nice, nice kick to the face by Ricky Richards as a cover. I've seen this guy develop his talent in Long Island, in Middle Village Wrestling, in the New York area. This kid's got a lot of potential, oh. and Caden 
just took down Richards. Snapped the snack back right there on the top rope. That's why Chris Caden is hated here by the Ace audience. He's a jerk. He's all about himself with it. I don't think Caden knows how to fly. He's looking very he looks tender. like he's nervous getting up there. Look at that leg, it's all shaky. Oh! oh Jesus Christ. At least he didn't separate his shoulder. Oh, wow. Richard's looking to go up here. He's looking for a superplex. Wait a minute, here comes a flawless one, Blake Morris. Oh, Ain't this. no way. That is what we call a Tower of Doom, and Morris came out in the advantage. Smart thing, he covered the right man. Oh, Caden barely got that shoulder up right there. Only two for Morris on both ends. That's why Blake Morris is flawless. He's about the victory here. He doesn't care about any shenanigans. He just wants the victory. We saw shades of greatness in his match with Azrael, and we're seeing shades of greatness right now. Caden moving around like a drunk hobo right about now. He doesn't know right, quite frankly where he's at. Best in the room. Right? DDT! DDT, exactly. He should go for a cover on that one. He's not going to cover him after the DDT. I don't know how smart that was. Oh, sends him out. Oh, my God. Maybe it was smart. Morris got to his feet quick, but fell in friends in a hard plywood right here in Wellington. Ricky's going to fly. Oh! Jamal, I know you're an in-ring competitor. You know the deal with that. That's the hardest part of the ring, the frame. Oh, look at Caden. He's trying to steal one right now. Caden's looking for an educator here. He's got it. That Texas Cloverleaf with a knee high elevated in the back. Don't tap. Don't tap. Don't you give it up. Wait, wait. wait a minute. Oh. It's Hush Holiday. Oh no! Hush Holiday is not forgotten! It's Hush! Oh! Hush is not wailing away! He's not in this match though! It's triple threat rules, there's no disqualification! That's why the bell is oh, not got me there on that one! He's cleaning house! Caden, hightailing it out of here! But Hush follow right behind him! Caden running out of sight, it seems. Quiet Ryan implodes here in Wallington and Anarchy. It comes down to Ricky Richards and Blake Morris right now in the center of the ring. What's the flawless one going for right here? He's setting him up. Left arm lariat. Took him down. Blake Morris needs to keep it going here. He has the advantage here on Ricky Richards. It's now a one on one encounter. And this is where we see what Morris and Richards are made of within singles competition. What a kick right to the gut. Richard struggling to his feet here. The best in the room. Shot in the mush. Right hand. Wait. Hold on a second. Irish whip right to the corner. Picks him up. And backbreaker to beauty. Right on the lower lumbar region. One, two, no. Only two, says referee Dave Castaldo. Wallace would saying that was three. Well, as this matchup continues as Blake Morris. Trying to keep it going here, but Flawless gets a shot in the midsection by Richards. Right hand. Richards sticking to what works. He loves using those strikes. Got him up. Oh! Belly the back onto the knee. Now that's an innovative way to use a backbreaker. Cover. Only two, says the referee. You should call that a belly the backbreaker. Like it. Regardless, Morris continues. He's getting frustrated here. He needs to focus on the match at hand. The winner of this contest goes to Crossroads 9 as the final participant in the Fight for Flight Championship match to crown a first ever Fight for Flight the champion. Wallace went upstairs. He's up in the high rent district. Cross body and a beauty. Well, Richard Wait, rolled whoa, through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only two. Richard persevered, rolled through the cross body, only got two. Boot right to the mush. Richards on the first. Flip, flip it. Morris, I'll look, he's going to sit down on it. Broke the hole easy there. Went for a boot. Richards with a schoolboy. Broke the leg around. Only two. Oh. Crucifix. Oh, I thought Richards had him with the crucifix. Double close on both men now. 
Referee Whoa. Dave Castaldo starting the mandatory 10 count. That was a crazy sequence of pinning combinations. I thought Richard Tano with the crucifix, but the match continues. Blake Morris, it looks like he's going up upstairs again. Worked out for him the first time around, kind of. Wall is going back up. I don't I think it's going to happen again. Oh, punch right to the gut. Beautiful shot to the midsection by Richard. And Richard is not about the arrogance. He's not about showboating. He's about in-ring maneuvers. Counter, backslide. Counter out of that neck breaker to the backslide. One, two. Rolling through to Morris. Morris reverse super kick blocked by Richard. Close line. And Richards is like a throwback into that square circle, Jamal. Most certainly is. Reverse the Irish whip. Richards he held on. on to the ropes. Shoots him out. Oh! Morris held on to the ropes. Don't pull himself back up. Oh, that's an innovative flatliner. Using the ropes as a springboard to do it. One, two. He almost had him there. Morris on spaghetti legs as he's trying to get back to his feet. Rich now, is looking to finish him off. Now, like I said, I stated before, Ricky Rich is not one I've known to have gone to the top rope and fly. We're going to see what he's going to be able to do right here. Blake Morris on his feet. Oh! That's what we call knockout. Good night. And it is over with that super kick right to the mush. Blake Morris, I thought he was beat with the Ricky Richards innovative use of the flatliner. Only got two. Richards went to the top, got caught with a super kick right on the button. Blake Morris goes to fight for flight and a bit of an upset here at eight.